So if you're watching this, you probably own a Hisense TV and it's extremely slow. When I say slow, I mean fails to respond in any kind of timely manner when you press input, change channels, try to switch apps, the thing is just dreadfully slow. Well, the TV is not really the problem, it's the software that's on the television. If you bought a Hisense TV that has the Android software, well there's your problem. I did the same thing. I have a Hisense 55 inch H8 series TV. It's got the built-in Android software and I tell you that Android software is a nightmare. So after struggling with this thing for months, I finally said, you know what, I'm just going to use a Roku. I won't use the onboard software, all of the onboard built-in apps. But you know, that didn't work very well either because the software of the TV is so bad that even trying to use a Roku was a nightmare. Trying to just turn the TV on is painfully slow. Trying to switch to the Roku input is slow. So here's what I did. After watching several other videos stating factory resets, software updates, change this setting, change this setting, none of that worked. So here's what I did. I deleted every app that I possibly could from the TV. All of the apps that I added and all of the apps that were built into the TV. Now, it could have been just one of these apps was the problem, but I said, forget it. I'm just getting rid of all of them. So, deleted all of them. Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, you name it. Plus all of those crazy built-in apps that came with the TV. So, once I did that, I could not believe how much faster and responsive the TV became. Look at this right here. No delays whatsoever. And if I push apps, look at that, instantly, no more delay. Everything comes up right when you push the button now. And when you go to apps, all I have is live TV, media, screen sharing, and viewed browser, whatever that is. I got rid of everything on here that you could possibly get rid of. And now the TV works perfect. No more delays whatsoever. And you don't need those apps. Just plug a Roku into it and go that route. So if I switch inputs here, and I go down here to Roku, I switch to my Roku remote, which by the way, this is, a, uh, this is an aftermarket third-party remote I got on Amazon. It's made by a company, Ann Derrick, and uh, I love these remotes. They, uh, they add a volume as where the, uh, the standard cheap Roku remote does not have a volume in most cases. So now I'm on my Roku, everything is nice and responsive, no issues whatsoever, and you can see just switching inputs to the Roku worked great now that we no longer have those built-in apps and other apps installed. And then I can easily switch around, volume responds, no problem whatsoever. I can go back here to apps. I mean, everything just responds perfectly. I'm even uh, got the, the microphone going on the remote right now that came with the TV and it's picking up everything I'm speaking right now. And that also was a nightmare, trying to get the voice input to work. but. Everything works beautifully now. And with all of the options we have with uh, Amazon Fires and Rokus and all that, you don't need your built-in apps on these TVs. They just don't work very well. So if you are in the market for a TV and it says Android on it, I would not buy that. Go another route. Hisense also makes a Roku version of the TV. That's a good way to go. So hope this helps you. And if you uh, are experiencing any of these issues and if this video helped you, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. And thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one.